Saskatoon, I believe that we're like right on the outskirts of downtown. We just stopped at this place, this coffee shop called the Underground Cafe. Pretty cool little place. I got, they call it the Frank Black. All of their specialty drinks were named after musicians. The Frank Black is uh, espresso, cola, and cream. And man, is it delicious. I would drink one of these every single day. Sign me up. It's pretty odd. I love it. Well, I'm glad you were able to experience it. And what did you get? You got the Cat Stevens. Oh, uh, yeah. What was it? I don't even know. It was like a chai with matcha, I think, as well. I don't know. It's basically just a chai latte, but it's really, really sweet. Yeah. And then what it's did... It's really f good tasting. Let me try it. But it's really sweet. And I've been trying to cut back my sugar in my tea, so it's really sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like matcha. I don't know why I keep trying them. It's well, the I don't even taste the matcha. It's the chai that I taste, which is the cinnamon. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. And then what kind of it's snacks did we sweet. get? Uh, it's a cookie, which is totally going to melt. I have to put it in the fridge. Let's see it. Raspberry lemon cookie. Are you gonna take a bite? Whoa, save some for me. No, I don't want a bite. It's good, it's got a weird texture. It's like cake. I can't see you because of the darkness. Well, okay. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. And then we got a scone. What was the scone again? Carrot, cream cheese. Well, there was a cream cheese, it. cream it's cheese, cream cheese glaze. Cream cheese glaze. There was pumpkin seeds and something else. Something raspberry pumpkin seeds. That's weird. Or cranberry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to take some though. Ah. Is it good? I like it. How am I going to fix that drink? It's so sweet. It almost needs to be like double the size. I'm a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Got a new sticker for the water bottle. Camera's not focusing. I don't know why. Yeah, so we're just taking off now. Out of Saskatoon, making our way to Regina, where we'll stop for a little bit and then finish off the day in Brandon, Manitoba. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
All right, you ready to peace out? Yeah. Let's peace out. Update time. We made it to Brandon. Um, unfortunately, we made it like a day late, two days late, a day. No. We were planning to be from Saskatoon next stop, Brandon. Oh. We ended up stopping in Regina. Just two days late. Because we were, uh, we were so late leaving Saskatoon. And then we forgot about the time zone difference that we were going to lose an hour. So we ended up stopping in Regina for the night. How did you feel about Regina, Schmerz? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to... It's fine. <laughs> so I then... wouldn't want to live there, but if you someone else chooses to, then you go ahead. It doesn't impact my life, but I wouldn't want to. Okay. Uh -huh. So then... Yesterday, when we went to leave Regina, our car, surprise, surprise, had some problems. Um, it was doing like random when you tried to go. It was taking a couple seconds before it would actually go. Like you'd press on the gas pedal. Just no, it rev the engine up, would no rev, but the car didn't actually move. Um, and then all of a sudden it would move. And then it would kick in and then we'd go. And then go only to about 20 kilometers an hour and then it would struggle again. Well, that, that part's not true. Emily. What? Emily's not driving it so she doesn't actually know. I'm experiencing the whole thing. Maybe I'm just letting off the gas a little bit. I don't know what you're experiencing. But as someone that's got his foot on the gas pedal, that part wasn't happening. Well, now looking back, of course it was because it was having difficulties going through the gears. Okay. So we'll let Emily speak her truth and I'll speak my truth and maybe the truth is somewhere in the middle. So yeah, so then we, we called probably 20 places in Regina to see if they could get us in to get it looked at because uh, neither of us know how to fix things ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, everybody in Regina was booked. There was like a three week wait for everyone. So then we called Brandon, which was... Uh, 370 kilometers away the next major town on our eastward drive and after a few tries we found a place that was going to be able to get us in the next day at eight o'clock in the morning so we uh we took the gamble hoping that whatever the problem was was gonna at least get us the 400 kilometers to brandon before it really fucked up so we drove to Brandon, uh, kind of held our breath half the way, but uh, there was no issues on the highway. But once we got into town and we were kind of making our way through the, through the city, the issues kind of really got a lot worse. Um, everything that we were experiencing became like, it wasn't just random anymore, it was all the time, and it was increasing in the problem. Increasing. Yeah, so. The problem was increasing. Yeah. We could hardly even drive in the Walmart parking lot, and we basically lost our transmission. Pretty much. So we made it to the shop, and we slept there overnight. And yeah, we slept in the parking lot of the mechanic, um, and then uh, we let them take over at eight o'clock this morning and even last night we went and we had some wine with our dinner and then went to the liquor store and bought some more i feel like we we were just trying to not think about the possibility of oh my god what the cat oh the cat pooped oh my god romeo poops now he wants a drink <laughs> oh yeah that's a little bit stinky so bad I can't handle that but yeah I don't know about you but I was really trying to not think about last Ew, night why did I just kiss him <laughs> he smells like the litter box Ugh. there was some worry that the transmission was going to be totally screwed and that if that was the case we were going to have to make some snap decisions that I'm not really ready to make yet so uh, as is my uh, true way of dealing with things. Last night, I just ignored it. <laughs> yeah, 
that is Sean yeah. I just avoided thinking avoid, about it, avoid, avoided avoid, dealing avoid. with it, and uh, got ignore, drunk. Ignore, ignore, yeah. ignore. Yeah, and it, and it worked because we enjoyed our evening. We watched uh, Ted Lasso that we just started, and we had some wine, and we had some dinner. Dinner was delicious. Um, played some cards, then went to bed, woke up, had the car looked at, went out for breakfast, came back. The worst breakfast ever. Well, mine was pretty good. I'm, I'm not a Smitty's fan, though. I don't know what we were expecting. Smitty's is trash. It was almost just wanted to freaking put it in the garbage. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it ended up, uh, there was just a, a little hole in one of the transmission lines. I don't know about a little hole. Well, it was little enough that they hole. they welded it closed, mm -hmm. um, patched it up, fixed it up, tested it out, and she's good to go and gave it back to us. So we had no transmission fluid. Yeah, the like, transmission we lost fluid. our whole transmission. Because of the hole, the, the transmission fluid leaked and it was empty. So, I don't know. It could have been a lot worse. And we live to drive another day. Knock on wood. Um, so now we're going to be uh, getting some gas. Heading off to back on the Trans Canada. On our way to Winnipeg. It's about 200 kilometers. So we'll get there in about two and a half hours. <sighs> so yeah, we uh, I can exhale a little bit of sigh of relief. I mean, it still wasn't, it was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But if you have to do welding and everything, I'm sure. It, and, and the time. Well, it was there for four hours. Yeah. But, you know, that, that's whatever. But just, let's just keep, keep going. Yep. All right, anything else before we peace out of Brandon? No. Pardon me. Is this the first city, town that we've been in that's been named after a boy? I don't think so. Hinton? No. Edmonton? No. Calgary? No. Duncan? Duncan is a boy, but it's mostly been girls. Victoria, Regina. Regina is not a girl. Regina is a girl's name. Regina. Regina, Regina, whatever. Regina Spector. Yeah. Spelled the same. Um, Elizabeth. What was that place in... British Columbia. There was by uh, Courtney. Oh yeah, Courtney. And there was a place just after like Radium, Elizabeth Town, Elizabethville, Elizabeth something. There's been a lot of girl towns. Only two boy towns that we can think of so far. Wow. Sexist. Oh, you want to talk about sexist? Okay. Yeah. Let's explain the friggin' Regina YMCA, if you want to talk about sexist. Oh yeah, we never gave a review on the YMCA in Regina. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's sexist, and it's misogyny, is what it is, accept it. Why, why, why do you say that? Well, first is the YMCA, so hello, change your name, it's not the Catholic Boys Society anymore. Also, why the men's locker rooms are so much better than the women's through every why that we've gone to. They don't care about the women's locker room and there's a man, a men right in the title. Like, come on. Come on. You got whirlpool, hot tub, sauna, massage therapist in there. Yeah, this YMCA okay. in Regina, the, w <laughs> the men's change room, we had a, there was, I mean, as you would expect in most plus memberships at the Y there was a hot tub and a steam not room and a sauna not in the women's not in the women's and there hasn't been one in the women's the only one is in downtown Vancouver yeah I'd say the downtown Vancouver one is still my favorite Y that we've been to um, this one is definitely better than the one in Victoria though like especially the new one mm. I'd say this might be number two or number three the first Victoria one is the other one that's either number two or three. But the one in Langley is, was it Langley? Is that the town by Victoria? Langley or Langdon? That one sucked. Um, but yeah, there was a, 
there was like this 90 year old man in a little corner room in this YMCA change room doing massages, um, which was pretty sweet. I didn't, I didn't get one though, cause I've already got my little 90 year old man massager right here. But yeah, apparently the girls uh, change room didn't have any of that stuff. So I don't know. No, it didn't. It sucks I... to be girls. Yeah, it does. Life is good over here, though. Don't be that. Don't be that. <clears throat> Don't be that. So, where would you rank that YMCA as far as all... Bottom the, trash. Bottom of all the ones? Well, even yeah. worse, Even worse than the one in Red Deer that didn't actually have a gym? They were... Well, I don't know. I think I'd have to go Vancouver, downtown Victoria, Regina, Langley. Are those the only ones we've been to? And then Red Deer? Mm -hmm. We've just been to the five? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because for a while there wasn't any at all. Because after... BC there was uh, Kelowna. oh Kelowna oh yeah Kelowna is definitely better than Kelowna is number three yeah Kelowna is better than the Langley and the Regina well I don't know my experience at the Y's have been totally different like than yours being a woman and a man it seems like we can get treated like trash so I don't know I'd rather go to a women's only good life to be completely honest with you Shout out to the men's YMCA. Shout out to the women's good life. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Next time they're going to be selling cigars. Yeah, well. That's what you want. You want to be in like a Goodfellas movie in there with this bloody hat on, perfect. Playing cards, smoking cigarettes, and poker. That's what you want. Country club. All right, friends. We're on our way to Winnipeg. Peace out, kitties. Where are ya? I don't see ya. Oh, so this is on top of that thing. Romeo's eating some dinner. All right, ciao. Yeah, well, it's been like five days, I think, since we updated the people. Like, for them, it might be five minutes, because we really haven't done anything since the last update. But, um, yeah, I think the last update was in Brandon. Mm -hmm. 
just after we got uh, got our thing fixed, mm -hmm. and then we pretty much just driven nonstop to where we are now in Blind River, Ontario. Um, it's been like I don't know three, four days of just driving as long as possible, and then pulling over to have dinner and sleep. Well, as long as possible is only five hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, yeah, we, we've skipped doing everything in lieu of trying to make it to Emily's mom's house as soon as possible because uh, she's been waiting for us. We were supposed to be there like two weeks ago, but you know, all the delays that we've experienced, especially 12 days in Lloydminster, has set us back. So now we're trying to make up some time. Always hit something on our way back if we really felt like we missed it, I guess. Right. So yeah, that's why we've uh, just been driving and not doing anything, nothing to film. Hope you like the scenery as we drive. There's been some nice spots, like driving around Lake Superior was pretty nice, right, Schmeiser? Yeah. Yeah. Even Lake Huron's pretty nice. All the beaches and stuff. Uh, like, so many times I wish we could have stopped and like got out and gone to the beach and gone for a swim or something. But well, maybe on the way back. No time for that stuff. Um. Yeah. So we're leaving here today. Now. Yeah. Gonna drive a few hours. Then we're gonna stop in and see Wendy and Earl, my family, spend the day there, spend the night there, then take off the next morning and go see Schmerman's mom. I guess that would be uh, Mama Schmerm. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Why well, wanted to? Oh, I got some. This is how long it's been since we filmed. I got this sticker at the cool coffee shop we went to in Saskatoon, and I was like, oh, we gotta film. Uh, adding it to the water bottle and we haven't done any filming since at least Saskatoon Saskatchewan it's like two provinces ago all right so we got this sticker from the underground cafe uh, it was pretty cool little coffee shop did you like it Schmermerly no all right you didn't <laughs> like your drink or your size of your drink for the money I quite enjoyed mine that was the the coffee with the coca-cola and the cream it was delightful so we got to find a spot for this sticker here Maybe. right underneath Andre the Giant anybody want a peanut oh that was terrible oh, he's gonna cover right under Andre right next to I forget who that person is that was a gift um, this is the goat shitting off the roof in Coombs on Vancouver Island. Andre the Giant. Nate Nixon. This is a hot sauce from the Maritimes. Explore Cranbrook. Brook. I still can't say Cranbrook. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Cranbrook. I keep wanting to say Cranbrook. <laughs> uh, Tofino. This was in Duncan. Duncan, British Columbia, and then we got this guy yesterday. This guy, we get it in Wawa. Yeah, we got it in Wawa. So, oh, I hope it's okay. Good. I was worried it was the whole thing, not just the the logo. Okay, Wawa, you're gonna wah yourself right here next to the goat. By the end of this trip, this whole bottle will be covered, I think. Boom. Little uh, mementos for memories. I wish I would have done that. Yep. I'm smart. All right, Schmears. Let's hit the road. <laughs> 